also the Olympic medalist, Stefano Romeova and Alejandra Valencia. Time now for the first of the quarterfinals. And it is Korea's new superstar, the 20 year old Ann San, triple Olympic gold in Tokyo, who's going up against Turkey's 22 year old Yasmin Anagosh. Shooting on target number one, three time Olympic gold medalist representing the Republic of Korea, this is Ann San. Three-time Olympic champion, individual team and mixed team, and Sam definitely be the favourite. But you've got to say, Anagash, two-time Olympian herself, went to Rio and to Tokyo, and was a silver medalist at the 2018 Hyundai Archery World Cup final in Samson, the 2018 European champion. So, you know, she's used to the uh, to the business end of, of a tournament, Nikki. She absolutely is, and you know, hopefully, this is going to be a fantastic match. Well, time for the first of the recurve women's individual quarterfinals and sound of Korea to get us underway. will alternate through three arrows each and whoever's got the highest score at the end will get two set points. there to level up and 29 points wasn't able to do it so the first two set points go to Ann San. Nikki the Korean started very well. She did indeed um, straight into the 10 no issues with any sight mark or anything like that we've got really good conditions here very little wind and some warm some not in their eyes so it doesn't get a much better than this. Confident start from Yasmin Anagos as well from Turkey. 28 is not bad. Not bad at all. And, you know, most opponents, uh, women's recurve, that's probably going to be enough to take the set. But she's up against Dan San right now. We look down the 70 metre range as the agents collect the targets. The, the, the height of uh, winning uh, three Olympic gold medals and be able to get herself right back up there and Sam uh, is tremendous. Is there any question that, you know, it might be difficult to raise a game again just a few weeks after doing that? Oh, it hasn't been so far, has it? In qualification, a mixed team, team rounds, just seems to be no stopping her. Well, trailing. And Agosh will shoot first in set number two. And she's got to get about climbing back on level terms with the Korean. A place in the semi finals up for grabs here. Ah. A much longer hold from Yasmin. You usually see the Korean shoot very. Good timing, consistent between every shot. <laughs> Much better timing. And Senna a little bit unlucky with hers, really. The lovely group, but just low. She adjusted her sight. Going in that middle now. A 
with a very long hold. Seven leaves the door wide open, and it's another 29 from Alan Sam, who strolls into a four set to nil lead here. We've got to be careful about the adjectives we use, uh, but I think we're going to get this one out early doors here on Recurve Sunday. It's looking unstoppable. It's just the consistency, isn't it? It's relentless consistency, and you know that is what makes you the best. Anyone at this level can shoot ten, but you know how many can you put in the middle? Uh, you know, ten after ten after ten, and you know, there's just no changes there, no difference. Um, Anna Gos, we saw there, too long at full draw, sort of struggling to really execute the shots. So Rico's very dynamic. There's always movement. It should be, you know, maintaining your, your back tension, keeping that arrow moving through the click all the time. And she just seemed to put, sort of pause at full draw, and you know whether she just couldn't commit to that shot. But she needs to get back on it now. She's got to get into this match. Well, despite uh, the frequency that these two have found themselves in the elite competition on the podium range, it's still fair to say it, they will be nervous. More so from the Turkish archer. It will be Anagosh to shoot first here in set number three and she is fighting to stay in the competition now. Time shot, it's going to do the clicker a little bit easier, there's a little bit of movement, but straight in the 10. Well, um, Sam has left the door open here, but puts it into the 8 for a 27, so a 10 from Anne to take this in nine arrows and move on to the semi-finals. And that's just what she delivered. It was a 28, her lowest score in the match so far. But Anne San left a little gap for Anagosh to sneak through, but Anagosh wasn't able to take advantage. And San does it in nine arrows. Look, there's not much uh, fuss about her draw and her process and her release. Very little fuss about her making it through to the semi-finals as well. It's just business as usual, isn't it? Just keep shooting good arrows, good timing, good form. Fantastic shooting from her. It's unprecedented, you know. Obviously, Tokyo, the first year of the mixed team of them with those three gold medals, but to back it up straight afterwards with the, with the World Championships as well, absolutely incredible. Well... It goes without saying, three Olympic gold medals means that Anne San is already a legend 